Workers water the vineyards as damp as they can because across the valley, up the slope, the fire still burns. But wineries are starting to get back on their feet. We got power back late last week. Silverado Trail opened up late last week. Um, our staff came back to work today on Monday. Um, and I believe a lot of the other wineries came back to work today also. It's the grapes that has some concern. There's compounds in the smoke that, that can manifest themselves in the wine. Oh, okay. So we're doing a lot to mitigate that. There's a rinse process before the crush, but for red wines, the skin supplies much of the color, and it's the skin that may be affected by the smoke. Luckily, most of the grapes were harvested before much exposure to that smoke. We had a very close call. The fire came down the hill and surrounded our building. And the vineyards? The vineyards were, let's say, scorched or fried on the edges. On the edges, just so we, we lost about one acre, we think, of our 12-acre vineyard here. Yeah. Scorched, burned, maybe not killed. We don't know that yet. Yeah. Wineries are facing a challenge, cleaning up damage and trying to harvest as much of the remaining red grapes as soon as possible. These vines are scheduled to be picked tomorrow morning, starting 6 a.m. And with the fire still in sight, they are some of the last grapes in the rush to get them off the vine. Even though one winery tells me that the majority of the fruit was harvested before the fire, the effect of the smoke and ash and the remaining 10% they think is still out here is, in their words, a big unknown. In Napa Valley, Don Ford, KPIX5.